Mitsubishi's plug-in hybrid Outlander is the country's best performing electric vehicle, but that's a bit like saying Blockbuster is the country's best performing video store. It doesn't mean much if nobody notices. The point is, they haven't sold many, but they're hoping this 2017 update changes all that. The brand's added a pure EV mode, so you can waft around using just the electric motors, and they've improved the acceleration and handling for when you feel like burning a little fuel. So let's take a closer look. The plug-in Outlander arrives in two trim levels, the entry level, but not particularly cheap, LS, which is the car we've tested here, and the more luxurious feeling Exceed. The LS arrives pretty comprehensively equipped, with leather trim seats, dual zone climate control, and keyless entry and start. You can also expect 8-inch alloy wheels, auto headlights and wipers, along with an Apple CarPlay or Android Auto equipped 7-inch touchscreen that partners with a 6-speaker stereo. Step up to the Exceed model and you'll add full leather seats that are heated in the front, an electric sunroof, powered boot and a cool EV remote function that displays the car's electric vitals on your smartphone. Mitsubishi describes its plug-in Outlander as the EV with no sacrifice, and that's certainly true of onboard space. Boot space in the 5-seat only PHEV is 463 litres with all the seats in place, and that's near identical to the conventional Outlander models. That number climbs to 1,602 litres when you drop the 60-40 split rear seats. Interior space is unchanged too, so the cabin remains a nice and airy place up front, with enough room for backseat passengers to ride in comfort. There is all sorts of dark magic taking place under the bonnet and at each axle, and how much power you get depends on how you're using it. Leave the Outlander in pure EV mode and 60 kilowatts is your total output. Venture into series hybrid mode and the engine doubles it to 120. Finally, drive entirely on petrol power and you'll be using that engine's 87 kilowatts. Now the mathematicians out there will have noticed that all those numbers don't quite add up and you'd be right. Mitsubishi claims the maximum combined power at 120 kilowatts and combined torque at 320 newton meters. Now, to recharge the batteries, you can plug in at home, and that'll take six and a half hours to fully recharge, but if you find yourself a fast charger, you can go from flat to 80% charge in 25 minutes. Sliding into the driver's seat is still a familiar experience, whether you've driven EVs before or not. And if you keep it on surface streets in the CBD or the suburbs, it's smooth and quiet in full EV mode, and seamless in the way it flicks between power sources. The acceleration in this refresh model has been mapped to be more aggressive, but a speed demon this ain't. The flat-footed sprint to 100 km an hour is hardly a world-rocking experience, but it does feel perky enough when pulling away from a light or when you're already up and running. One issue though is that the Outlander PHEV is carrying a little extra weight and it's carrying it in some unusual locations and that makes cornering something of a mystery. That, combined with soft suspension that's great at ironing out road bumps but less so at preventing the vehicle rocking, left us feeling a little seasick when we tried to push the boundaries. A 45 litre fuel tank means you can keep on powering on long after the batteries go flat but it also means you'll be stopping to refuel more than you might normally do on long distance trips. There's a lot to like about this plug-in hybrid Outlander. Some of these green cars, well, they can look a little bit weird, but this one, if you pull this badging off the side, it's the same pretty handsome profile as the rest of the Outlander range. Same size and space inside too. Sure, the extra weight does hurt it dynamically, and a pretty tiny fuel tank means long distance touring is gonna require a lot of stops, but if you use it how Mitsubishi wants you to use it, you'll be able to pay your fuel bill using change from the back of your couch. To read the full review, click here and don't forget to subscribe to stay on top of all our latest videos.